Hello and welcome to the Equal Reality video on how to create a Unity project. I'm Brennan Hatton. Prerequisites for this video are to have Unity installed. Links to prerequisites are in the description. First thing we're going to do is run Unity. So we're going to go down to the search bar and we're going to type in Unity. Once that booted up, you'll be presented with either a screen like what you see here, with a bunch of projects installed, or perhaps a screen that just says create new project. Regardless, we're going to go up and we're going to hit new project up here. And this presents us with the screen on how to create a new project. We get to name our project. I suggest naming your project something relevant to the purpose of the project, and including the equal reality version number in the name. I'm going to call this Disability Bias Training. We want to make sure that we keep this project 3D, and next we're going to select the location. Now the location is quite important. You're likely going to be creating a lot of projects. So what I do is I have a projects folder, and inside of that projects folder I have the names of all the clients that I'm making the project for. So I'm going to create a new folder for a new client, and I'm going to name this Equal Reality Creators, because I'm making this video for you. Now in here, I'm going to create a new folder called Unity Projects. I'm going to open this folder. I'm going to hit select this folder. It's going to create a new folder within there called Disability Bias Training. And it's going to be by your organization. I'm also going to put the Equal Reality version number into the name of the project. Leave it default if you're not sure what you're doing there. And uh, I usually keep Unity Analytics enabled. Let's create the project. And so now Uni's setting up a new folder with all of the right uh, assets and project settings for a new project within the designated folder with the designated name we gave it. So we can actually navigate to that folder and have a look at it while it's setting. So if I go to my projects folder and then I scroll down to Equal Reality Creators and then I've got Unity Projects. Here is my training project as it's been set up, and it's creating a bunch of folders and everything you need. I'm just going to fast forward Unity setting up the project. Alright, now that our Unity project is created, we're going to go through some of the project settings and just set them up and make sure that they're all ready to go for our virtual reality project. So to get to project settings, you go to the edit menu at the top left, and then you go down to project settings, and the first thing we're going to be changing is the player settings. So we're going to click on player. Now that's going to pop up over on the right here in this window far on the right. Now the first thing you're going to want to change is the company name. I'm going to put equal reality, but you want to put your own company name here doing the development. And then this is the name of the product that will appear to the client. So perhaps you want to call it bias training, perhaps you want to include the client's name here, whatever you think is most appropriate. This is also where we put in an icon. Now, to put the icon in, we need to first load the icon into the project. You may want to come back and do this later, once you've uh, added some more files to your project. But it's good to know where it is. <clears throat> now we're going to go open the resolution and presentation settings. Now the only thing we need to change in here, is we want to make sure that the display resolution dialog is hidden by default. And that just means that when you run the app, it doesn't pop up a question asking you what you want to do, it just runs the app straight away. Now if you have the pro version of Unity like I do, which is why everything is really in a dark color, yours might be in a lighter color, that means you're using the free version of Unity, which will also work for what we're doing. But the pro version will also allow you to customize the splash screen, which means you can turn it off and it no longer prompts up and says made by Unity when you first run your game, which does make it look a little more professional. And finally, we want to go to XR settings. X stands for anything, could be AR, could be VR, whatever. Um, but in these settings, we want to make sure that we have virtual reality supported, check. And regardless of whether or not we're building this for Oculus, or for the Vive, or perhaps for something else, like Windows Mixed Reality headset or a Meta, we want to make sure that we remove Oculus. OpenVR is the drivers that we use for the headset that run SteamVR. And SteamVR supports Oculus and all of these other headsets. So even if you're developing for Oculus, I can't stress this enough, you only need OpenVR. If you have both Oculus SDK and the OpenVR SDK, your application will not run. 
or at least it won't run as planned. Instead, you'll just get a head that spins around on the spot and doesn't move anywhere, and it'll be very confusing. So, very important. So that's it for the player settings. Next, we're going to go to some more settings. So we're going to go back up to Edit, and then we're going to go all the way back down to Project Settings, and this time we're going to go to Audio. Now, in Audio, we want to make sure that what the player hears in their left ear and their right ear is different so that it actually provides spatial sound. And to do that, we're going to go over to Spatializer plugin, and we're going to make it the Oculus Spatializer. And this will work for both Vive and like whatever headset you're using. And that'll just make sure, as I've said, the sound will go for the right ears. And finally, we're going to want to import the Equal Reality Content Creator. And this will be what will allow us to avoid all of the programming and all of the really technical work and just get down to creating content. I've reserved this in a different video, it doesn't take too long, but I wanted to have it in a different video because it may change uh, as we're developing it, and I want to, that way you can always have the latest video on how to do this properly. So the next videos for you to watch are the Equal Reality Content Creators uh, importing into Unity, and getting started with Unity. I'm Brennan Hatton at Equal Reality, and thank you for watching.